in a weird way, it was almost like I had to sort of fool my mind into believing that it wasn't retarded. Excuse me? Come again? Pardon me? Leres tu correctamente? Mine's tu dust ernst? Are you telling me that if I'm put in a sleeper hold on national television, I have to pay $25,000? No. No, 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 no. Never. Ever. I'd sooner take that amount of money that you are fining me to the strip club and make it rain alongside James Harden. I don't mean it metaphorically or rhetorically or poetically or theoretically or in any other fancy way. Straight up. Straight up! Straight up! My neck and my back hurts from saying that. It burns my very tongue. It scorches my voice box. But that's how serious I am. I wasn't even planning to make another video today, but this right here, ooh, woo! I had to stop what I was doing immediately. As far as I'm concerned, they find Gobert for saying this. Every time Steph doesn't play, he does anything he can to get ejected. Which a lot of people have now been looking into the records and seeing some things and they're like, hmm, Gobert may actually have a point. And because he said this, I guess the NBA may be seeing him as fanning the flames or you're saying some things that should be kept quiet, the quiet part out loud. Diplomacy, political correctness, you're a public figure in one of the biggest sports agencies on the planet, so you have to carry yourself with dignity. Turn the other cheek, forgive and forget. As soon as you charge me for getting assaulted, not only will I not forgive and forget, I'll forget to forgive. Don't rock the boat. You don't want to mess up the money. Oh no, I will do more than rock the boat. I will sink that shit like the Titanic. You will never, ever get me to pay you for something that is your fault. The NBA has allowed this to continue for far too long. The Warriors are a bunch of enablers. And while I look at these things as a viewer, and it is hilarious, it's funny, it provides great content and all, but put yourself in Go Bear shoes or any player's shoes. Put yourself in Jordan Poole's shoes and you get punched and knocked out. The video leaks. It's gone viral. Your family and friends have seen it. You are embarrassed and humiliated and you get traded. And that guy doesn't get penalized at all. Go Bear, you get strangled in front of everybody. You now have to pay a fine for trying to break up the fight? What exactly did Gobert do in that exchange that warrants a fine? He put his hands around Clay's neck. For no, he didn't. Despite what Shaq and some others would like you to believe, no, Gobert was trying to separate and break up the fight. And what does he get in return? He gets dragged from the three-point line to the free throw line and damn near out of bounds. And Steve Kerr proceeds to just completely ignore any and all wrongdoing by the Warriors Clay Thompson as well. He's like, Clay Thompson shouldn't have been ejected. Draymond, he basically said Draymond shouldn't have been ejected. And why is that? Well, Draymond is basically that guy who does the dirty work. He's like a Dennis Rodman back then. This comes with the territory of a player like that. You just have to accept it. No, no, I don't. If I was Gobert, I would have people's elbowed Draymond in the side of the head like Ron Artest did to Bearded System all those years ago. And I would have felt good about it too. Suspend me for 20 games if you want. I don't care. It's a matter of principle. Just like paying this money. Oh, it's just 25000 Gobert has a ton of money. He's played in the NBA numerous different years. Defensive player of the year. It's not about that. It's about the principle. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. After all, the way Draymond did what he did to Gobert could have definitely seriously hurt him. Put him in a hospital. Could have put him in a neck brace. And I guess it had to have been that. Things would have had to have gone that left in order for the NBA to just reevaluate everything because then you wouldn't look good finding a man whose neck is being held together by a piece of tape. I didn't see any of the people on these panels or anybody on ESPN even talking about the audacity of the league to charge this man money for being assaulted. Nobody even mentions it. They're just talking about Draymond and all oh, his track record and this and that and things. There's people just so caught up in the Draymond train and the Draymond news cycle and things. 
yeah, okay, I can kind of understand it, but he's done it to himself time, time, and time, and time again. And if anything, he got a little bit of a slap on a wrist, five game suspension. I would have gone 10, because I'm sick of your shit. You've done this too many times. I saw some people leave comments saying, well, you guys always talk about how the league is soft, but then once somebody does something that's not soft, it's a problem. Nobody wants to be strangled. Nobody's condoning that type of behavior. Especially letting somebody who's repeatedly offended people in the groin region to get away with it. We don't want that. We don't want players to get hurt out here. We don't want people to get injured. No, we would like more physicality. We would like refs to not blow a whistle every time somebody bats an eyelash. But this right here, no, 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 no. Gobert is handling it in a very great and dutiful way. If anything, I think the NBA may have a little bit of a grudge against him through that pandemic thing and him touching the microphones in them. This was like their get back. They're like, yeah, you thought we forgot, Gobert. No, we didn't. We charging you $5,000 for everything you touched on that table. Draymond better issue some sort of apology to Gobert as well. I stand by what I said about Draymond being the dirtiest player in today's NBA. And if I were a Warriors fan like that, or let's say they were my hometown team, I would be extremely irritated with his antics. And I would just want him gone at this point. Because you've only gotten older. You're supposed to be wiser. You're supposed to be more calm, more learned. But if anything, you seem to be regressing, just like your field goal percentage. So in closing, enjoy your five game suspension, Draymond. Read a book, do some knitting, pottery, calm your ass down, practice some high kicks in the crib. Get yourself right before you return. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think about this situation below. Do you think it's right for Gobert to be charged $25,000? And do you agree with the amount of games Draymond received for suspension? Do share your thoughts below. I appreciate you for watching and I shall see y'all on the next one.